So you got yourself a new pair of Aftershocks headphones or you lost connection to the ones you already had or you just simply are struggling with entry repairing mode. You have landed in the right place to figure out how to repair your Aftershock headphones. Aftershocks is a brand that is well known for its top-notch bone conduction headphones, a pair of headphones that are ideal for athletes. While the bone conduction technology fails to deliver great sound quality, Aftershocks doesn't. To not miss the sound quality, let's see how they pair. They mostly pair with multiple devices that support Bluetooth 3.1 or higher. Everything from phones, tablets, computers, and watches. By reading this blog, not only you will learn how to pair Aftershock headphones, but multiple devices since most Bluetooth headphones have the same pairing process. Surprisingly enough, Aftershocks can be paired with a smart TV too, but it has to support the same Bluetooth codecs that I just mentioned. Even if it doesn't, uh, there's a solution for that. Just get yourself a Bluetooth transmitter. Okay, now we're going how to pair Aftershock headphones with any device. Pairing mode on most Bluetooth devices can be troublesome sometimes. That's why I will try my best to explain the pairing mode on your Aftershock headphones so you can have it easier. Okay, now we're starting off how to pair your Aftershock headphones. Pairing mode. Start by turning the headphones off and go to Bluetooth settings. Then enter pairing mode by pressing and holding the volume plus button at least for 5 to 7 seconds. When the LED light flashes red and blue, you will hear Audrey say pairing. Then just access the Bluetooth settings from your device and select the Aftershock headphones from the list it shows. That's it, you're ready to go now. Okay, now moving on, the pairing mode with iPhone and Android smartphones is pretty much the same route. Only the Audrey instead will say words like welcome to Aftershocks and connected. Aftershock headphones and near field communication NFC pairing. The NFC is another pairing mode you can try it if the Bluetooth is not working properly. Near field communication gives a mobile devices and an NFC equipped headset to connect to each other with a straightforward step. All you have to do is hold both devices close to each other. Basically, it allows phones, tablets, headphones, etc. to share data more easily and quickly with other NFC equipped devices. Uh, just a quick note, I said an NFC equipped headset meaning it is not something you will see in all headsets. For example, on Aftershocks, their OpenCom headset is the only one that supports and is equipped with it. To pair the OpenCom headset, hold down the volume plus button until the headset flashes red and blue, then position the NFC sign that you can find on the left arm of the headset close to the NFC detection area. A blue light will flash one time and you're good to go. And now moving on, pair it aftershocks to multiple devices. Aftershock headphones sure do offer multi-point pairing allowing the users to connect two devices at once. Like always, hit it all with the headphones turn off, then enter pairing mode by pressing the volume plus button up to 5 to 7 seconds. Uh, once you're done with pairing, press and hold the multifunctional button and the volume plus for at least 2 to 3 seconds until you hear Audrey saying multipoint enabled. Turn your headphones off again and re-enter the same pairing mode. Once you pair the second device, you will hear Audrey say device to connected and the LED light flashes red and blue. You're done now. The headphones should now be paired to these two devices. Here are some final words. This pretty much concludes everything. I hope it was clear on how to pair Aftershock headphones and you managed to enter pairing mode with your Aftershock's Bluetooth headphones. Uh, most Bluetooth devices follow pretty much the same pairing process, so once you learn from this blog, you will also have it easier to enter pairing mode on on other devices as well.